Oh, hello everybody, uh, believe it or not, but uh, summer season is getting closer here in Iceland and uh, how I know it is that you guys have been texting me a lot on the Instagram and uh, were asking me basically how to find a job in Iceland and it's every year the same and I figured that uh, for this year I would just do things differently and rather than answering each message individually I would just make one video about it and kind of just sum up all the information that I have and sort of just tell you my opinion and maybe some tips, tricks and secrets. Uh, sort of what I would do if I was looking for my first job here. And this video will be divided into the chapters so you can kind of skip ahead if you want to and only you know find the information that you are really interested in. But what I recommend is to sit through the whole video and just you know so you don't miss out on any information that I have to share. Because let me tell you, uh, it won't be easy. Like for the people who are looking for a job here in Iceland for the first time, there is a lot of competition, you know, like the businesses here, uh, they are being flooded with the messages, you know, from people who are looking for a job. And so I hope that in this video, I can at least get you a little advantage and help you to stand out in this big sea of emails that business owners are getting on a daily basis. And so first let's just start with a couple of things that uh, you will need to know and you will need uh, to legally work here in Iceland. And that's basically a Kenitela, which is a, like a social registration number. You can apply for that online on uh, National Registrar's website. And this website will just guide you through uh, depending on where you're from and how long you intend to stay in Iceland. The second thing that you will need uh, is a bank account and that's kind of an easy process and you will need to do that uh, here in person. You just go to one of the uh, bank's branches and do everything there and uh, everybody speaks good English and so you don't really have to worry about not understanding some information and stuff like that. And with you, you just need to have your passport or a residence permit if you are from a non-European country. And one last thing, you also need to have a valid Icelandic phone number. So all those things that I mentioned, that's something that uh, employer can generally help you with and uh, help you to set up. But, uh, you know, remember, we are trying to stand out here and be a little bit more independent. All right. So the next step is kind of uh, figuring out what job you are going to do here. And as a foreigner, uh, you generally have a, a couple of options and that's mainly the positions that you don't really need to pick Icelandic. And so here we basically talk about positions like a, a waiter, housekeeping, guide, uh, maintenance. But you can also find some work outside of tourism, uh, for example, uh, construction, uh, working on a farm, uh, in a greenhouse and stuff like that. But like if you are coming here only for the summer and you really just want to save up some money and get to know the island, uh, travel a little bit, uh, I think that the best way is to find the work uh, somewhere in like a hotel or guest house uh, something that's sort of like on the countryside so that means that they also have to provide you with like a stuff housing and that's generally not very expensive and some places even provide it for free and now the question is where you can actually find the jobs and the, the listings and uh, generally there are two places that I recommend uh, people to look and one is a website that's called alfred.is and the other one is a Facebook group called uh, Away From Home Working in Iceland. And so Alfred is a website with job listings, uh, which is good to keep an eye on. And most of them are in Icelandic. Uh, however, uh, here and there you can find a job offer in English. And Away From Home is on the other hand a Facebook page that's in English and where people uh, advertise available positions. And so to be honest, uh, these are good sources and good pages to keep an eye on. Uh, but uh, the way I always looked for a job was uh, via email and I've been always just sending hundreds of emails. It's not just a couple of them, it's hundreds. And you really have to be patient and put in a lot of work. And how I find these uh, email addresses, it's pretty easy. Uh, there is basically two ways, I think. You can either go to uh, Google Maps, just you know, type in Iceland, just zoom in and choose hotels in uh, left upper corner. And then here, if you click on one of those, there'll be a website link that you can click on and uh, go to their website. And there you will find either the contact address or the uh, contact form. But I think sending it from your email address always works better because you can always attach your CV to it. Then the other way that you can find the email addresses is uh, on the website like uh, vest.is. And this is a website focused on the west side of Iceland. 
and each region has its own website dedicated to it and so here you can just click on food and accommodation and then after opening the hotels info you can see there is a email address on the left side and I'll leave all the links in the description below and so if it was my first time looking for a job here in Iceland uh, what I would make sure to mention in the email is that uh, I'm aware of what I need to set up like can it tell a bank account and all these things so the manager or the business owner basically knows that you are self-sufficient and he doesn't have to babysit you through the whole process and I really think that this gives you advantage uh, against other people who are looking for a job and one tip that I can give you is don't put just job application uh, into the subject of the email but instead put a word Atfinumsoken which is Icelandic for job application and this also just helps you to stand out uh, in the field of you know uh, hundreds of emails that say job application on it so more things uh, all right so this one is for more adventurous people and that's kind of my idea what I would do if this was my first time here and let's say you don't find a job through the internet there's a one cool way of giving it a one more shot and so what you can do is to find a cheap ticket to Iceland and I think if you plan for it they don't really cost that much and once you get here uh, you rent a car you can get like one of those uh, like camper vans uh, and just sleep in it and that way you will also save for accommodation and what you can do is to kind of just drive around and uh, ask in person which I think is always the best you know and if you say that you can basically start immediately uh, that also gives you an advantage and there is uh, always some place that is lacking stuff and even though most of the time they'll be probably fully stuffed by then uh, still worth trying and if it doesn't work at least you will have a pretty cool adventure here in Iceland and one more thing just be prepared uh, it won't be easy like once you get here once you have a job especially in the tourism uh, summers are very busy here and it gets freaking stressful at times but I mean the way I always did it was kind of just I zoned out through my whole shift and kind of pictured myself somewhere in the nature uh, exploring the places that I wanted to see and uh, doing the stuff that I really wanted to do and uh, I mean look at the landscape like what better place to be if you are a nature lover and um, photographer and uh, adventurer and maybe you'll be like me and you will just really fall in love with the place and kind of get stuck here for many years to come 